Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is night 717 of GameStop Dumpster Diving. 717 nights. That is absolutely crazy. But before I get into these two bags that were found in the GameStop dumpster tonight, what I want to let you guys know is two things. First of all is thank you guys so, 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 so much for all the incredible support lately. I know the past couple videos have been doing insanely well, so I really appreciate the major support. And all the new subscribers out there, thank you guys for stopping by. And also, if you're not subscribed, if you want to, you can click the little bell down below as well after you hit the subscribe button. That would mean a lot. So you can notifications every day I post a brand new video and also thank you for all the OG subscribers out there just thank you guys just thank you everybody pretty much just thank you guys so so much I love making these videos and showing you guys what can be found and saved from being thrown out in the garbage so uh, also the second thing is is that yesterday I didn't make a video because it was Easter here in the United States and I just felt like spending time with friends and family I hope you guys can understand that and let's get into tonight's dumpster dive so this bag looks like it has some boxes definitely Definitely some boxes. A10. Astro? Yeah, Astro Gaming A10 box and also a, I don't know, a white box. Also, it has two knots on the top, which is really, really weird. So, uh, not sure what to expect with that. And then we also have a bag here as well, which Xbox One. Xbox 360 maybe, it looks like a case, not too sure. Let's just get into it. First things first is I wanna get into this bag. Um, let's do the weight test. That one's definitely heavier, and it also has the two knots, so it's got me a little confused. Uh, usually they just have one knot, like that. So let's get into it. Ah, let's rip into the bag. Ooh, what did I just see? Balloons? vault Tech balloons, what? Oh, that's actually super cool. These are from Fall, probably from Fallout 76, because that's the newest Fallout game. Ooh, ooh, that's actually really freaking cool. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. There's a blue one here with the yellow Vault Tech. As you can see, it says Vault Tech with the little symbol. And there's a yellow one with the blue. Oh, that's actually super cool. They're balloons. <gasps> Look at that. That is dope. <laughs> Obviously, they're brand new. They're literally brand new in packaging, so that's why I put my lips on it. But uh, that is actually super awesome. Vault Tech balloons. I like those. Let's see. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, Astro A10 box. Hold on. Let's get this box out of here first. This one's not heavy at all. We'll get into that a little bit later anyway, though. Oh, what do we have? Okay, there's stuff in here. Oh, Astro A10 headset box. And there's even a cable right there. Oh, oh, yeah. There is... It just opened. It just freaking opened. There is definitely something in this. Okay, pushing these bags back here real quick. We gotta get into this. Oh my god, is it actually freaking in here? It literally popped open. There's something in there. It's got a decent amount of weight. Astro A10 headset box. I don't see anything yet. It looks like I see some paper. Let's pull it out. Okay, it looks like we have a pamphlet here for the actual headset, I guess. Another pamphlet here. Ooh, ooh I just found one of these recently. I think that pamphlet. Oh, let's just let's dump it out. Let's dump it out. Oh, I'm too excited. Ooh, okay, it's definitely the headset, but what is that? Oh, it's destroyed. No. No, this is the Oh, what? No way. Literally, this is the foam padding for the ear. No. What happened? Look at the mic. What happened to this? Oh my god. Um, well, we got the manual. This is insane. What? What? Look where the freaking chat was. The uh, the mic. Oh, those. Oh, those look like dog teeth marks. Oh, yeah, those are definitely from a dog. I don't think any human I know could do that. That's definitely someone's dog got a hold of this for sure. Damn, Astro A10, baby. That would have been sick. These, I'm really surprised these were actually in the box, though. That is freaking crazy. Obviously, someone's dog got a hold of this and ripped the freaking smithereens out of it. Look at that. Wow. Those are teeth marks. So someone's dog definitely chewed this thing up. I guess the dog chewed the, um, that, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is actually absurd. See the, uh, I've never actually held a pair in my hands before of Astro A10s, I've never owned a pair of these. Yeah, those are all teeth marks all over this thing, or maybe even claw marks on the top, I'm not sure. But someone's dog definitely got a hold of this and uh, 
even this, like, look at the foam is coming out. The foam is out of the freaking earmuff things. Whatever these are called, ear pads. That is so crazy. Um, I'm gonna assume they probably don't work. They might. There could be a chance. Obviously, the chat, the, uh, the microphone is definitely not gonna work. That is so destroyed. And, uh, the cable is in here. Let's check the cable out. 3.5 millimeter jack with the other 3.5 millimeter jack. Is the cable okay? We got the little chat here as well. I guess the volume. Yes, the volume rocker. I actually think the cable's in good condition. Surprisingly, out of all this, the cable is in good condition. <laughs> that is so crazy. Um, okay, so the cable's definitely worth keeping. I'm gonna keep all this just for now to see if this actually turns on, because maybe I could order a pair of these online and uh, attempt to put this back together, even though that is totally destroyed. But it still might work. There might not be any uh, electronics behind that. I'm not too sure. Um, definitely a freaking crazy find, for sure. This is a no-go. There's no way this could ever be used as a chat headset again, because the chat is just, the microphone is just destroyed. Look at that. It's even, like, torn in half right there. So that's enough of that, but, uh, wow. That is absolutely, uh, that's the worst-looking thing I've ever seen out of, like, tons of years of dumpster diving. This thing is just totally mauled. It is just destroyed. Uh, let's get back into the bag. Before we do, though, let's get into this box. There is this one in there as well. Let's check it out. It was really light. Oh, it's packaging peanuts. There's nothing in this one. <laughs> just a bunch of packaging peanuts. So sadly, nothing in that box, but definitely don't want to rip that box open because there's all this packaging peanuts. Um, there's that. That was garbage. We have this cable here as well, which looks like a uh, micro USB. Yeah, that's definitely micro USB. Looking pretty straight, too, with a USB on the other end, which is the... Uh, this is... um. Uh, Oh wow, I can't even think of the company. The Power A Company, that's their logo right there. So this is most likely a wire for a wired controller for a Power A controller, which I've been finding tons of lately. Like so many controllers, it's been ridiculous. And there's also, oh, is that a Pokemon card? No way, it's a legit Pokemon card. Oh, it's a shiny one too. Oh, it's a legendary Pokemon card. Whoa, this is a, I don't know much about Pokemon, so I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, a Zygarde. Zagardi? I'm not too sure. I'm probably wrong either way, but uh, that's a shiny. Look at that. That's a shiny legendary Pokemon. That is sick. That is actually super cool. My sister loves Pokemon, so definitely going to give that to my sister. We have a Wii U charging dock that's actually broken. Don't know if you guys can really see that, but yeah, it's totally broken. Wow. Um, Probably still works because I don't think electronics go behind that part of it, but ooh, you can hear something rattling. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it for now either way. A Wii U charging dock, and there's a fork. Ooh, a lovely fork. Ooh, 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 there's something in this. Oh, there's something in this. This is a pre-owned baggie, and there's something in it. Oh, tonight is freaking awesome. Let's get it, what is it? Please be a controller. I don't know, I'm just gonna guess a controller. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Energizer, it says Energizer. Oh, it's a charging stand? For what controllers, though? That's definitely a charging. Let's go, let's open it up. Let's open it up. Oh, putting the camera down. Ah, let's get it all out of there. Let's check it out. I hope you guys can see that. We have definitely. Oh, that's a battery pack for a 360 controller for sure. That's an Xbox 360 controller battery pack. That is a little jammed. You can see the little delay on the button. Yeah, it's a little jammed right there. It's maybe while it was thrown out. It's in a couple pieces. Yeah, those are for 360 controllers for the Xbox. Oh, that is cool. And also, there's a, supposed to be a cable that plugs into it. Sadly, I didn't see it in that. But uh, there's a code on the back here for rewards at pdp.com if you guys want to grab that. This goes together. I guess it just kind of clicks into place. There we go. I guess they just couldn't fit it in the packaging, so they took it apart. That is actually really nice. Sadly, no cable. And these cables definitely don't go to that because that's like a power cord cable or something. That is cool. Okay. Oh, there's even more. What do we have? We have a little figure of... I don't know. Is this supposed to be the Black Panther? Yeah, it's definitely the Black Panther. But with blue on him. Hmm. Okay, the Black Pan... Oh, it might even say on the bottom here. Um, very hard to read. Definitely Marvel. It says Marvel. It just says Marvel on the bottom of it. So a Black Panther little pop figure kind of thing. It's made by Funko most likely, so uh, a little pop figure kind of thing, just a small one. There's pins here, definitely, oh, they're buttons actually, of Elf, the movie Elf. Oh, that is crazy. That is so cool. 
New, $5. These are $5 pins. What? That is, or buttons. I keep calling them pins. They're buttons. They are buttons. <laughs> but uh, either way, oh, best find so far, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Rubber Band Squad. If you guys are new to the channel, which I know a lot of you may be, the Rubber Band Squad is whenever I find a rubber band in the garbage or in a trash bag or wherever, I put it on my wrist and I say hashtag Rubber Band Squad or just Rubber Band Squad in general because I do have a rubber band ball. So every time I add a rubber band that I find, GameStop Dumpster Diving, to the rubber band ball, it's adding one of you guys who are new to the family. Basically, yeah, it's just adding one of you guys to the rubber band ball. It's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's symbolic. It's hard to explain. Like, when a rubber band is put on the rubber band ball, it's like adding a new member of the Speedster family here on YouTube. That's basically what I wanted to say. <laughs> so, uh, this is a new subscriber right here. That is, oh, I love that. I think it's such a cool thing to do. And this rubber band is broken. So, you know what that means? Somebody just unsubscribed. That's what that means. <laughs> I don't know who did it, but someone did it. Look at this. Another unsubscriber. Why are you guys unsubscribing? Please subscribe. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is in here. We have a Slim Jim wrapper. Okay. Um, some paper, and I think that is it. Let's look around, see if we see anything. I don't think so. A couple packaging peanuts, which I hate these things. They go everywhere. Let's get into this second bag. Now, I think there's a 360 or Xbox One case right there, so let's rip into it. Oh, that's definitely a 360 case. And a bottle, and a thing of chips. Mmm, tasty. Ooh, and we got lanyards. We have la another Nintendo Switch lanyard. Let's get it. I just found a bunch of these. Oh, and I have another one. And a ah, it even has these on it. Nice. A Nintendo Switch lanyard with the little promotional pieces that are clipped into the bottom. This is sweet. As you can see, it says Nintendo, and it even has the little Switch logo with the online. I believe it says Nintendo, there we go, Nintendo Switch right there. It's one of these, which is the better made ones, because it has a little clip in the back that you can unclip and then clip it around your neck if you would like. That is nice. That is really sweet. I collect lanyards, so that is sweet. That is just beyond sweet. <laughs> There's another lanyard for sure. Oh, it's a Think Geek lanyard. I've actually found a couple of these. This was $7. A lanyard TG monogram. So this is one of those kind that if you uh, take it with two hands and you like pull it, it stretches like really far. It's elasticy. So it's like an elastic kind of lanyard. Not a huge fan of these, but uh, for free, I'm not complaining. I think that is freaking awesome. Also, it's kind of cheap because it has the cheaper little loop down here. You actually have to press it in to get your keys on. It's not one of the ones that you can just like do that and it's like a nice little lever kind of thing. But uh, either way, still a lanyard nonetheless. Next thing we have is Halo Wars and I have to say, first impressions, it's very heavy. So either a lot of manuals or the game is inside. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, that is nice. And it's the Platinum Hits version. I've never, ever found this game before. Halo Wars. I have found Halo 4, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST. I've even found some original Halos for like the Xbox, but I've never found Halo Wars. That is awesome. I do own this game, but I own it in like the collector's edition, I believe. So this is freaking awesome. And this is the Platinum Hits version. And it is in... Really good condition. Just looks like a bunch of fingerprints. Looks really smudgy. That's about it. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. And the manual, thick. Very thick manual. Damn, that is an awesome find. And the case is actually broken. I just noticed that. It's got a broken case. I can always switch this out for a case that I have lying around. Let's check it out. Anything else? Any game? Ah, no game in there. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is this? <gasps> are these lanyards? These are lanyards. What kind of lanyards are these? Call of Duty Endowment lanyards. Give, or no, it's just, it's, yeah, it says game, probably ga yeah, GameStop gives. Call of Duty Endowment. These are brand new, literally brand new in the packaging. If you guys are not liking this video, you gotta like it now. This stuff is brand new. Like this thing's brand new. That's insane. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I'm gonna rip these open and check these out. There looks like there's either three or four of them in here. And I'm just gonna have to take all of them out, to be honest, because just taking one out is gonna be way too hard. And it even has these on it to put like cards in and stuff. Okay, so let's check it out. Oh, these are actually really nice. Wow, they're really red. It says GameStop Gibbs and it says Call of Duty Endowment, which is, oh, they smell brand new. Wow, it's like brand new clothes kind of smell, like a brand new like shirt. Oh, that is cool. 
and it has a little thing you can put something in. Like, uh, I guess if you want to, like, maybe a midnight release or something, you could put, like, your name tag in there, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there's three of them here. Those are freaking cool. That is actually really, really awesome. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, a bunch of lanyards tonight. Damn. Let's get it. A drink here. Another drink. Obviously, bunches of garbage because it's from the GameStop dumpster. It's all a lot of garbage. But there's also a lot of stuff in the bags. There's a GameStop gift card, which I'll keep because there might be money on it with a little gooey stuff on it. Take that off. Another bottle. Always tons of bottles. I always find tons and tons of bottles. Always go to the bottom because you never know if there's money. DS games, SD cards, and oh, this pen definitely exploded. Yeah, this is an exploded pen because I can see the ink on the bottom of this. There's ink right there by that potato chip, <laughs> which is probably from that right there, that potato chip thing. But either way, I think that's going to be it for tonight's dumpster dive. I'm going to throw the garbage over there. going to recap what was found tonight, and there was a lot. Wow, there was really a lot tonight. Hey, I've been doing really good the past week, so... I don't know what's going on. Maybe GameStop's cleaning out their inventory, but Halo Wars, the only game that was found tonight, absolutely freaking awesome because I've never found it before. There's a bunch of lanyards, like tons of them. There's a Call of Duty endowment ones. There's the Nintendo Switch one, and they're, these ones are cool because they have the little things on the end of them. This one, which is a Think Geek lanyard, which is just one-sided, not the coolest. It's all, like, I don't know, it's elastic. But either way, still, it was free. There's the Elf Buttons. So I would have assumed they'd sell these by Christmas time because they're elf related. But uh, a cord here for most likely a wired controller from uh, Power A because it has the Power A logo on it. A Wii U controller uh, stand, like charging dock thing. A legendary Pokemon card. A battery that's an Energizer Xbox 360 battery that goes to the rechargeable um, dock, I guess. Charging dock. Controller charging dock. There's a GameStop gift card. The Astro headset which is totally destroyed, but I might be able to, I don't even know. I'm gonna have to see if it works first and maybe I could try to make a video on this and me fixing it, like ordering parts online and trying to fix it. If you think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments below. Also a little, I think Black Panther little figure, which is pretty damn cool. The vault Tech balloons, and I think that's it. Yeah, that was a lot of really freaking cool merchandise tonight. So either way, if you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button. Even if you didn't like the video, smack that like button because these videos are coming out every single day. I post daily on this channel, so make sure you guys do subscribe, click the little bell down below. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links below in the description. I will be leaving the last video over here. Most recommended over here. Go subscribe to the Speedy Gamer and the Speedy Diver. Now one thing about yesterday's video is, or not yesterday, but the other day's video is that it was me testing out 3D, three regular DS games that I didn't know what kind of games they were. So make sure you check that video out. It's really interesting. And uh, thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow for another epic dumpster dive. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.